Do you know you can use AI technology to create AI images and sell those images as stock images online and you can make money online by doing this. This is completely legal. Lots of people are doing it. Adobe has specifically said you are allowed to make money with AI images on their platform. And you can start doing this for completely free today. And I'm gonna take you through how to do this step by step. Now, AI technology is going crazy right now, and we don't know how long Adobe is going to allow this. So you are gonna to wanna to jump on this pretty quick and make sure you get a foot in the door right now to make money online with this method so let's jump into this tutorial and i will show you how to make money with ai technology selling images online all right guys so before we get into the actual tutorial what i want to show you is that i actually buy a lot of stock images myself and a lot of people do on youtube for their thumbnails so if you can see here all of these background images well most of them i actually apart from that one because it's in my house but like this one here this one, this one, some of them are the same, this one, this one. A lot of this is purchased from stock image websites. And a lot of people actually, or a lot of YouTubers do the same thing. So what I'm gonna show you in this video is we're gonna kind of base this around YouTube thumbnails and how I actually get my thumbnails, uh, backgrounds. And you can actually go ahead and sell these and make money by generating it with AI. Now, if we go and jump into this here, Adobe stock to allow AI generated images on its service. So a lot of people are like, hey, can you really use AI and make money with AI images on Adobe? Yes, you can. Okay, they have officially said you can. Now some um, stock image websites have banned the um, practice of uploading AI images and making money with them, but you can do this with Adobe. Now, I don't know if they're going to um, stop this in the future, so you're probably going to want to get onto this right now. But as of the date of this video getting uploaded, you can go and upload AI generated images to Adobe Stock Photo and make money. Now, if you want more information on what type of um, content you can upload, or what type of AI generated content, they have an uh, update that was done on December the 23rd of 2022. Want your content made using generative AI tools to be accepted into your, um, the stock collection? Find out how to submit authentic assets that meet our quality, legal, and technical standards. So just read through this. It's actually very, very short. It's not very long at all. You can simply just go into Google and Google generative AI content Adobe, and you'll be able to find this page. So let's jump into this, and I'll show you how you can make money by going ahead and creating AI generated content and uploading it to Adobe stock. Now, when you first do this, you're going to be kind of lost. You're not going to know what to upload, what sells or anything like that. What I would suggest you start with is abstract backgrounds, but we'll get back to that in a second. Go to premium stock images. There's usually some pretty good ones and kind of like AI generated stuff that you can do. So for example, if we take this one here, now I actually have already done an example of this and I will explain to you how this works. But before we do that, you are gonna to wanna to go and download a program called Mid Journey. And Mid Journey is going to actually um, take you to a Discord where you can generate, let me have a look here, where you can, gen oh, that was a crazy looking image. Did you see that one? Where you can generate AI images. Now, if you pay the subscription fee and upgrade, you can actually um, direct message the bot itself and you can do it all with the bot without anyone else getting involved so you don't see anybody else's um, art. Now, look at this one here. What I did is I essentially, I just did like the cheapest way of doing this possible, right? So anyway, download Mid Journey. What I did is I took this, so shot of pink colored succulent plants laying on top of blue edges. What I did is I actually copied that into here. It didn't give me them on blue edges, but it actually gave me a really good detailed image that I could potentially upload to Adobe. Now, this is not going to be a full tutorial on how to use the Mid Journey bot. I will actually link one below where I go through exactly how to use this bot and all the commands and everything like that. But let's just go through and explain to you the best way to find ideas to upload images, AI images to Adobe stock so you can go ahead and make money. So what you can do is you can take these types of titles and you can kind of, you know, move them around. So you could do um, a shot of red colored succulent plants laying on the ground or laying in a garden or laying on a building. You can go ahead and change um, this. And what I will actually do 
is take this and I'll do exactly that, right? We'll just run a test. So you go forward slash imagine and it brings up a prompt and I'm going to paste in. Now, this is really basic. You usually have to put in way more commands to get more specific. I'm going to go shot of red colored succulent plants laying on top of building roof now i have no idea what's going to come up i've never done this prompt before but let's just see what happens and we'll come back to that in a second but that's this is the kind of stuff that you need to do you just need to go through and see what kind of ai generated images you could produce like this one here is an ai generated image well i don't know if it is but this you could go ahead and create something um, from ai like this and you just kind of kind of got to think of your own ideas okay that's the most important thing here but what i will recommend as well is going to a website called freepick.com on freepick.com this is where i get all of my abstract images for youtube and i actually buy them and they are the easiest for the bot to generate so for example this one here smoke on back black background i went ahead and i actually did that one and it came out really, really nice. Now, if we go down here, you'll see this actually came out extremely good, much better than I thought. So you could go ahead and I could say, okay, I want to go and sell this one on the bottom left. I'm going to go upscale three. And that's going to give me an upscaled version of this image that I could go and sell on Adobe stock. Once you get the upscaled version, there is something that you do want to do. Potentially, you don't have to do this, but you could actually use another AI called Nero AI. And what this does is this will actually upscale it to 4K and it will clear the image up for you, making it look really, really nice. Now, you can try this for free, but it's probably going to cost you, I think. I haven't really used it that much. But what happens is once this is generated, I'll show you the actual image that you will get. But the best way to get ideas is to simply just go to the um, other stock image websites and see what is selling the best or see kind of what's at the top and I think one of the easiest ones to do is going to be abstract backgrounds because it's just so easy for the AI bot to generate this type of stuff and I do know a lot of other YouTubers that buy these as well and in general these do sell very well. Now this is on free pick but you can do it on the um, Adobe one as well. Now this has created the upscaled image for me so we could do a beta upscale redo if we like, and it will actually make it a little bit better. But we click on this and we go to open in browser and it's going to give us this image. And we just go here and we save the image. And then we just take it to that Nero image website, drag it in there and it's going to upscale it to 4K if you want to upload a much better image. The mid journey image um, only comes in specific sizes. I think this is the only size right now. I'm not 100% sure on that though. Anyway, once you have generated your image that you'd like, once again, the best way to do this is to just go to other, I'm just going to get rid of this right now because we don't need this stuff. But the best way is to go to other websites or even Adobe itself and see what are the most popular images but the reason I, I talk about abstract so much is because it's just so easy for these bots to create that abstract type of background and like smoke and as you can see here this one I did this one here was really really good I put in fire and ice colliding together and it gave me these four options so this one is really really nice as well you could do fire and sand fire and snow lava and snow you can do any type of combination but like i said this isn't a specific tutorial on how to use mid journey so the next step is you want to sign up as a collaborator on adobe stock it's very easy to do and then you want to go to upload my first asset and you're going to go ahead and upload the image that you created and i'm going to show you a way in a second that you can bulk upload images to other stock websites as well so make sure you stay tuned for that all right so i did forget that you will have to upscale it i forgot that adobe stock actually you have to have a specific upscaling size now you could use the um nero.com or there's another one you can use which is free scale up dot uh stick scale up dot media you can just google that now it's free, but there probably is a paid version or you're probably going to get ads or something like that. But you can upscale using this as well. Once you have upscaled it, simply drag it over to Adobe. And I've already actually uploaded one. But anyway, what you can do is on the side here, 
you can go ahead and put in all of the information. So we've got file type photos, category. We'll just put something like um, building an arch uh, architecture, even though it's not really that, but it kind of is. And what you want to do is you want to click created using generative AI tools. And you can actually um, learn more about that here or learn, and you can actually learn about the requirements here, which is a page that we um, took uh, went to before. Recognize people or property, no. And then type in a title here. So I'm just going to say something like, I'm going to actually just copy what I did in here. Shot of red colored succulent plants laying on rooftop which is there and then there's some succulent plants in the um, foreground here. And then you want to paste your keywords, something like abstract. Uh, admin five keywords. We can do house. We can do red house. Like you would obviously go ahead and think of the types of keywords that you're going to go ahead and put in to upload your image. And then you can just go save work once you put the um, thing in, or you can do a rent, uh, reordering tool, which is much easier. I actually prefer to do this one here. And I'm just gonna put in a few more here to, um, so I can go ahead and upload this. I'll just put in clean and simple. Okay. Now I've gone ahead and submitted that file. Now I will give you a tip if you don't know kind of what type of um, stuff to upload, you can go ahead and click on an image on Adobe stock and you can scroll down to the bottom and it's gonna give you these similar keywords. So we've got three dimensional neon. So you could go ahead and like, look at these ones. These are real nice, right? So you could go ahead and ask the AI bot to create a, a picture with a neon triangle or neon square with smoke in the background and it's got these keywords here that you can go ahead and you can use to actually go ahead and generate more content you can use these as pr uh, prompts so you can say to the ai create a neon cloud um with a, a square and then like a back black ground, uh, a black background or something like that. Now, another way that you can go ahead and make money with this method. So once this is approved, it will be on the Adobe stock image website, and you could potentially make money from people purchasing your stock image. Now, another great way is you can go to wirestock.io and on wirestock.io, you can use this website to upload multiple images in bulk to multiple stock image websites. Now, this is a paid website, so you might not want to do this. You could just stick to the Adobe. And you do need to remember that a lot of um, other stock websites don't allow AI imaging. So you would have to check before you go ahead and upload. So it might be better for you to not use this but you can use this if you want to do it bulk but i would recommend just straight uploading to adobe stock manually since we definitely know they will let you upload ai images if you want to learn more about how to use the ai bot that i just showed you here there will be a link in the description don't forget to subscribe smash that like button tap that notification bell and i'll see you in the next video